Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This time on Dust 2, I'm gonna show you my favorite one way smokes that I use. They are really effective and you should get some easy kills with them. Thank you guys again for 4,000 subscribers. We hit it yesterday and I'm really proud of you guys. There's going to be something special at 5, so only if you like the content I make and if you enjoy it, then only consider subscribing. Thank you guys once again and as usual, let's not waste time and jump back into the video. So this first smoke I'm gonna show you guys is a smoke I saw in a game where Spirit was facing Virtus Pro. Sanji used this smoke to get 3 kills, what he did, he came over here, found this dot on the wall and simple left the throw. Don't mind my buddy up there, we're gonna jump next to him and you can see the crossing players towards ramp. So simply when they cross, should be easy kills for you, even if they jump up car you can try to spot them or if they're crossing car you can try to spot them and then try to get a free kill. We're gonna place a bot here and I'm gonna show you how it looks from the opposite side. Right now we're gonna retro the smoke as well. So basically when you come up ramp, you can't see the player up there until around this area. You start to spot his head. If you come further back, it's even worse. It's around here when you start to see him. So you're at the same time exposed to short, so you'll most likely come up here and you can't see him. So if you're playing against the smoke, just try to pre-fire that place and don't use the smoke too frequently. Because if the guys will start to understand what's happening, they will most likely prefer the spot. It's easy to shoot at the box, even from here. So be well aware of that. So this next smoke I'm going to show you guys. Really effective if you know that your enemies have long control and uh, you want to gather some information. What you can do, you can come over here, aim in the middle and right click throw. Simple like that. You can come from this this side and peek towards long. You can see the player on the on the long corner towards the pit and deeper in pit as well. There's another guy down there, but you can see him sadly. But if you throw the smoke, he might come out thinking that this is a side smoke. So simply what you can do, as you can see, we're going to retro and you can see the player on site from here, from here as well, and from here too. So a really effective smoke if you want to gather some information and make them guess on what your next move is. If you follow my channel for a while, you have probably seen this smoke, an absolute favorite of mine. I use it very frequently. What you want to do, you want to line these two posts up just like this and you want to find this stain on the wall, this one over here. You want to aim in the middle of it and simple left click throw. When the smoke lands and you go out, first thing you want to do is you want to check left side if somebody's creeping up, creeping up here. And when you do so, you can try to spot if anybody's perhaps standing mid or if anybody's playing window. I'm going to place a bot once again to show you how it looks from the opposite side. So as you can see, you can see the player if he's standing there or if you're standing here as well. You can see the gun, bar gun barrel this time, but if anybody's standing there, he will see you, but you won't see him. A good thing here as well, what you can do with this smoke. When you clear out these two corners, you can try to maybe go from the left side, or you can jump on top of these boxes over here, and maybe try to surprise somebody playing car and clear out these sides and gain some control. So yeah, simple as that, really effective smoke, definitely try it out. A cross smoke that works as a one way as well, you should definitely know this by now, simply come in the middle of this fence over here, find a stain on the wall, this one over here, aim in the middle of it and while ducking a left click throw. So afterwards you come up here and there will be a gap on the right side. As you can see you can try to challenge if anybody's playing perhaps car or this corner over here. I'm gonna place a bot and I'm gonna show you how it looks from the opposite side. If you stand here and you don't have an op, you have no chance against this player. Sometimes even double scoped in, you can't see him. I'm gonna try to replicate it from the car as well. As you can see, the smoke lands. If you have an op, double scoped in, you can try to see this player. Sometimes you can see him, sometimes you can't. But with a rifle, you have no chance against it. And of course it works as a regular cross smoke as well. So in uh, combination with the previous smoke, a lot of pro teams tend to use these butt smokes for executes. So what you want to do for the second smoke is you want to come over here, pre-aim like this and right plus left click throw. Smoke the smoke will land over here on the box and it will create like this cloud over here. I'm going to try to show you how it looks from the enemy's perspective. We're going to place one bot here and one bot over here. 
Just like that. I'm gonna throw the first smoke that we threw previously. And as you can see, if anybody's playing sight and you're crouching down like that, trying to push him, it's hard time for him to see where you're at. If you're perhaps pushing from here. And uh, if somebody's playing car, it's hard time for him to see the guy as well. If he has a rifle, once again, there's no chance for him. So this next smoke I'm going to show you guys is really effective when perhaps your enemies smoke off catwalk and you throw your smoke on top. I've had great success with it. So what you want to do, you want to come here and there's this big stain over here. And then there's three dots next to it. You want to aim at the bottom dot, like in the middle of it and simple right click throw. When you do so, you want to come over here and just simply peek towards sight. Again, we're going to place a bot and I'm going to show you how it looks from the opposite side. So if you don't have an op, once again, it's going to be hard time for you to spot the player there. The smoke is fading right now, so we're going to read through it. So when the smoke is up, it's really hard for you to see. Sometimes you can see a little bit of the model double scoped in, but with a rifle, it will be hard time for you. So yeah, really great and effective smoke. For a tunnel peak smoke, what you can do, you can come over here just like that. There's like this crack on the wall. I usually go from the middle around here and simple right click throw. The smoke lands on at the second stair and when you come from this side you can see anyone who's in tunnels until around here you can see the whole tunnel. But when it comes toward the enemies, place a bot over here. So when it comes to enemies, if they don't have a an op, once again, it's going to be a hard time for them to see you. So yeah, if you scope in, maybe you can try to spot some legs, but without an op, it's really hard for them to see you. And that is it for me today. Thank you guys for tuning in. I hope you learned something new and this will help you out in game. I want to give a quick shout out to you boys as well for the love and support, especially in the YouTube comments and Discord. You guys are fucking amazing. You can't even imagine how much this shit means to me. So thank you boys for that. I highly appreciate each and every one of you. So let's keep rolling. Let's be strong and uh, let's go forward. Thank you boys once again. It was Cyrix and I'll see you very soon.